Imaging Systems in Dentistry under the valuable support and guidance of Professor Dr. Srinivasa Raju, Professor Dr. Sarish Reddy, Dr. Ravi Prakash SM, Dr. Raghunath, by Dr. Ruchi Deer, MDS, Department Conservative Dentistry and Endotontics. Contents Introduction Classification of Dental Imaging System Conventional Radiography Intraoral Extraoral Temporomandibular Joint Projections Panoramic Radiography Specialized Techniques Electric Thermography Tomography Stereography Scanography Digital Radiography Magnetic Resonance Imaging Nuclear Medicine Ultrasonography Zero Radionography Arthrography Sciography Conclusion Introduction The history of dental imaging system began with the discovery of X-rays that revolutionized the practicing medicine and dentistry by making it possible to visualize the internal body structures. The X-rays were discovered by Professor Willem Conrad Röntgen accidentally while working with cathode tube in November 1895 in a darkened room. But as Neil Armstrong stated for his mission to moon applies equally well to the discovery of X-rays, one step forward for men and a giant leap for mankind. Röntgen called the discovered rays as X-rays since their nature was then unknown. They are actually a form of high-energy electromagnetic radiations and are part of electromagnetic spectrum. They consist of wave packets of energy. Each packet is called a photon and is equivalent to one quantum of energy. The X-ray beam, as used in diagnostic radiology, is made up of millions of individual photons. X-rays are produced when high-speed electrons bombard a target material and are brought suddenly to rest, thereby producing an image on the film. Radiographic imaging forms the backbone of dental science. Conventional radiography, intraoral and extraoral, began the era of diagnostic aids in dentistry in the beginning of 19th century. But today, increasing awareness of the importance of risks associated with the exposure to ionizing radiation and infection control. There is introduction of faster films, improved film slash screen combinations, improved technology for complex motion tomography, rapid developments in new imaging modalities such as digital radiography, computer tomography, CT, Magnetic Resonance Imaging, MRI, etc. Classification of Dental Imaging System Conventional Radiography Intraoral Radiography Intraoral Periapical Radiography Bite Wing Radiography Occlusal Radiography SLOB slash Clark's Technique Specialized Radiography Electronic Thermography Tomography Stereoscopy Scanography, Computer Tomography, CT Scans, Magnetic Resonance Imaging, MRI, Ultrasonography, USG, Extraoral Radiography, Skull Projections, Lateral Mandibular, Oblique Projections, Oral Pantomogram, Temporomandibular Joint Projections, Nuclear Medicine, Scintigraphy, Digital Imaging, Direct Digital Imaging, Indirect Digital Imaging, Digital Subtraction, Radiography, Digitized Image Interpretation, Xerodiography, Sciolography, Arthrology, Radiovisiography, RVG. 1. Intraoral Radiography. It includes the radiographic techniques that involve placement of X-ray films inside the mouth. Intraoral radiographs can be divided into four categories 1. Periapical projections, 2. Bite wing projections, 3. Occlusal projections, 4. SLOB slash Clark's technique. 1. Periapical projections, main indications, detection of apical infection or inflammation, 
assessing the periodontal status after trauma to teeth and associated alveolar bone, assessment of presence and position of unerupted teeth during endodontic procedures, preoperative assessment and postoperative appraisal of apical surgery, detailed evaluation of apical cysts and other lesions within the alveolar bone, evaluation of implants postoperatively. It includes a paralleling technique, b bisecting angle technique, a paralleling technique, right angle technique, long cone technique. Principle, the X-ray film is supported parallel to the long axis of the teeth and the central ray of the X-ray beam is directed at right angles to the teeth and film. Advantages, minimum geometric distortion of the image. Use of long source to object distance reduces the size of the apparent focal spot. The image is sharp and defined. The shadow of the zygomatic buttress appears above the apices of the molars. The periapical tissues are clearly shown with minimal distortion. The crowns of teeth are well defined to detect proximal caries. The horizontal and vertical angulations of the X-ray tube head are automatically determined by the positioning devices if correctly positioned. The X-ray beam is aimed accurately at the center of the film. All areas of film are irradiated and there is no coning of or cone cutting. The relative positions of the film packet, teeth and X-ray beam are maintained irrespective of the patient's head position. Disadvantages Film positioning can be uncomfortable to the patient, especially the posterior teeth. Positioning the holders is difficult for inexperienced operators. Anatomy of mouth makes the technique difficult, for example, shallow, flat palate. Root apices may appear very near to the edge of the film. Positioning the holder in lower third molar region is difficult. The technique cannot be performed satisfactorily by using a short focal spot to skin distance due to resultant magnification. The holders need to be autoclavable or disposable. B. Bisecting angle technique. Principle. It is based on a simple geometric theorem, Shizenskin's rule of isometry. Two triangles are equal when they share one complete side and have two equal angles. Advantages. Comfortable positioning of film packet in all areas of the mouth. Quick and simple positioning. Tooth image is same as the tooth itself. Disadvantages. Distorted image due to use of many variables. Incorrect vertical angulation results in foreshortening or elongation of the image. Periodontal bone levels are poorly defined. Shadow of zygomatic buttress overlies the roots of the upper molars. Coning off or cone cut may result if the central ray is not aimed at the center of the film. Incorrect horizontal angulation results in the overlapping of the crowns and roots. The crowns of the teeth are often distorted, thereby preventing the detection of proximal caries. The buccal roots of the maxillary premolars and molars are often foreshortened. Hence, Paralleling technique is the technique of choice for preapical radiography, but due to lack of required armamentarium and tedious procedure, bisecting angle technique is still followed in the routine practice. It is used is recommended by the NRPB slash NCR in their document Guidelines on Radiology Standards in Primary Dental Care and in the new 2001 Guidance Notes. Clark's technique, same lingual, opposite buccal, slob. 2. Bite wing projections, inner proximal. They are named so on the basis of original technique where the patient is required to bite on a small wing attached to an intraoral film packet. Types, horizontal, vertical. The films are positioned either with the help of tabs or film holding device. Indications. Detection of incipient, proximal carious lesions. Detection of secondary caries. 
assessment of the inner dental alveolar bone height using the vertical bite wing radiographs, detection of inner dental calculus deposits, film holding device, bite wing loop tap. Advantages The device is simple, the taps are inexpensive and disposable, so no cross infection. Taps can be used easily in children also. If film packet holders are used then, film packet cannot be displaced by tongue. If film holders are used, it avoids conning off or con cutting of anterior part of film by approximating the external localizing ring. Holders are autoclavable and disposable. Disadvantages Radiographs are not accurately reproducible, so not ideal for monitoring the progression of caries. Conning off or con cut of anterior part of film is common if taps are used. Some film holders are expensive. Holders are not comfortable for children. 3. Occlusal technique It is the intraoral radiographic technique where X-ray film is placed on the occlusal plane. The film size is 5.7-7.6 cm. Indications Periapical assessment of the upper anterior teeth. Detecting the presence of unerupted canines, impacted teeth, supernumeraries and odontoms. To evaluate the integrity of anterior, medial and lateral outlines of the maxillary sinus. Evaluating the size and extent of lesions such as cysts or tumors in the anterior maxilla. Assessment of fractures of the anterior teeth and alveolar bone to localize foreign bodies in the jaws and stones in the ducts of sublingual and submandibular salivary glands to examine the patients with restricted mouth opening. Various occlusal radiographic techniques include maxillary occlusal projections, anterior maxillary occlusal projection, topographical, cross-sectional maxillary occlusal projection, lateral maxillary occlusal projection, mandibular occlusal projections, anterior mandibular occlusal projection, cross-sectional mandibular occlusal projection, lateral mandibular occlusal projection, anterior maxillary occlusal projection, image field, anterior maxilla, anterior floor of nasal fossa, teeth from canine to canine, projection of central ray, vertical angulation, plus 45 degree, horizontal angulation, zero degree, point of entry, tip of nose, cross-sectional maxillary occlusal projection, location, the palate, zygomatic processes of the maxilla, anterior inferior aspects of antra, teeth from second molar to second molar and nasal septum, projection of central ray, vertical angulation plus 65 degree, horizontal angulation 0 degree, point of entry, bridge of nose, lateral maxillary occlusal projection, image field, quadrant of alveolar ridge of maxilla, Inferolateral aspect of antrum, teeth from lateral incisor to contralateral third molar, projection, plus 60 degree, point of entry, 2 cm, below the lateral canthus of eye, toward the center of film, anterior mandibular occlusal projection, image field, anterior portion of mandible, dentition from canon to canon, inferior cortical border of the mandible, projection of central ray, minus 10 degree, point of entry through chin, cross-sectional mandibular occlusal projection, image field, soft tissue of the floor of mouth, lingual and buccal plate of mandible from second molar to molar, projection of central ray, 90 degree to the center of film, point of entry, Midline through the floor of mouth, 3 cm, below the chin. Lateral mandibular occlusal projection. Image field, soft tissue of half the floor of mouth, 
buccal and lingual cortical plates of half of mandible from lateral incisor to third molar, projection of central ray, 90 degree, point of entry, beneath the chin, 3 cm, posterior to the chin and 3 cm, lateral to midline. 2. Extraoral radiography. Extraoral radiographic examinations include all the views made of the orofacial region with the films positioned extraorally in conjunction with intensifying screens within a cassette. Use of intensifying screens to decrease the patient radiation exposure. A. Skull projections. 1. Posterior anterior projection. 2. Anterior posterior projection. 3. Lateral skull projection, lateral cephalometric. 4. Waters projection. 5. Reverse tones projection. 6. Submental vertex projection, jug handle view, slash base or full axial projection. B. Mandibular oblique lateral projections. 1. Mandibular body projection. 2. Mandibular ramus projection. C. Orthopantomography, OPG. D. TMJ projections. 1. Transcranial view, open and closed mouth. 2. Transpharyngeal view. 3. Transorbital view. Posteroanterior projection, indication, skull examination, progressive changes in mesiolingual dimensions. Frontal or ethmoidal sinuses nasal fossae, orbits, projection of central ray, 90 degree to the image receptor and parallel to patient's mid-sagittal plane at the bridge of nose, distance 30 to 40. For cephalometric evaluation, FHP is perpendicular to film, centometeal line is 10 degree above horizontal. Superior border of petro is temporal ridge in lower third of the orbit. Occlusal plane is in horizontal position. Posterior anterior cephalometric projection. Lateral skull projection. Indications. Skull survey. Nasopharyngeal soft tissue. PNS. Heart palate. Facial growth assessment. Soft tissue profile. Projection of central ray. The central beam makes 900 with patient's mid-sagittal plane and is centered over external auditory mirus. Waters projection, indications, PNS, psychomatic frontal suture, position of coronoid process between maxillary and zygomatic arch, sphenoid sinus, projection of central ray, 90 degree to the film and is centered at the level of maxillary sinus. Reverse tones projection, indications, sontillar fracture of neck, medially displaced sondial, posterior lateral wall of maxillary antrum, projection of central ray, 90 degree to the cassette and parallel to patient's mid-sagittal plane and centered at level of condyles. Submental vertex projection, indication, base of skull, position and orientation of condyles, Sphenoid sinus, curvator of mandible, lateral wall of maxillary sinus, fracture zygoma, jug handle view, medial slash lateral pterygoid plate, foramen F base of skull, projection of central ray, through vertex to the center of film, 2 cm, from a line connecting the two condyles. B. Mandibular lateral oblique projections. Mandibular body projection, indications, image of teeth, alveolar ridge and body of mandible. Projection of central ray towards the molar premolar region from a point to a centimeter below the angle of mandible of opposite side. Mandibular ramus projection, indications, to view third molar retromolar area. Angle of mandible, ramus and condylar head. Projection of central ray towards the center of the image ramus to centimeter 
below the inferior border of the opposite side of the mandible at the area of first molar. TMJ projections, transcranial projection, transpharyngeal projection, transorbital projection, transcranial projection, projection of X-ray beam downward from the opposite side through the cranium and above the petrous ridge of the temporal bone at a 25 degree positive angle centered through the joint. Indications Identification of gross osseous changes on the lateral aspect of the joint only. Displace condylar fractures, range of condylar motion. Transpharyngeal parma projection, projection of X-ray beam, 5 degree through the sigmoid notch and 7 to 8 degree from the anterior. Advantages, helps visualizing erosive changes of the condyles. 3. Transorbital projection, projection of central ray, downward 10 degree and 30 degree laterally through the splateral orbit, so that centered over the TMJ. Advantages, helps viewing condylar neck fractures. 3. Panoramic imaging, pantomography, dental panoramic tomography. The radiologic technique used for producing a single image of the facial structures that includes both the maxillary and mandibular dental arches and their supporting structures. Principle The dental arch, tough curved, is not the shape of an arc of a circle. To produce the required elliptical, horseshoe shaped focal through, panoramic imaging employs the principle of narrow beam rotational tomography while using two or more centers of rotation. Two stationary centers of rotation, one center of rotation, shifting center of rotation. Indications To evaluate the trauma, third molars, extensive or unique pathosis, and their associated surgical procedures. To evaluation tooth development. To evaluate developmental anomalies. Contraindications not suitable for diagnostic examinations requiring high image resolution. When a full mouth set of radiographs is available for a patient receiving a general screening examination. Patient positioning and head alignment parameters. The dental arches are located in the center of focal true. Place the incisal edges on a bite block. The MSP must be in the exact center of the focal true. Patient's occlusal plane is angled 20 to 30 degree below the horizontal and FHP is parallel to the floor. Advantages Broad coverage of the facial bones and teeth. Low patient radiation dose. Can be used in patients who are unable to open their mouth. Less time consuming. The image is easy for patients to understand and is therefore a useful teaching aid. Positioning is relatively simple and minimal expertise is required. Disadvantages Images do not show fine anatomic display. Structures or abnormalities not in the focal truth may not be evident. Soft tissue and air shadows can overlie the required hard tissue structures. The tomographic movement together with the distance between the focal through and film produced distortion and magnification of the final image. Recent development A recent development in panoramic tomography is the ability to program the equipment to only X-ray certain parts of the jaws, segmental panoramic image, when only specific information is required. This leads to the significant reduction in radiation dose. It's the field limitation technique. Specialized radiographic techniques. 1. Electronic thermography. 2. Tomography. 3. Stereoscopy. 4. Scanography. 5. Digital radiography. Direct digital radiography. Indirect digital radiography. Digital subtraction radiography. Digitized image interpretation. 6. Computer tomography, CT scan. 7. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. 8. 
ultrasonography USG 9 nuclear medicine scintigraphy 10 zero radiography 11 cellography 12 arthrography 13 radiovisiography RVG electronic thermography thermography methods of temperature pattern resolution and analysis abnormal temperature patterns alteration in blood supply presence of inflammation sensors thermistors liquid crystals infrared scanners small tv cameras prototype might be a useful method in tooth vitality atypical odontalgia internal derangement of tmj tomography techniques to image more clearly objects lying within a plane of interest process of motion and sharpness disadvantages of linear tomography strict parasitic lines no optimal blurring inconsistent magnification indications of tomography high contrast anatomy tmj dental implants types of tomographic movements linear circular trispiral elliptical hypocycloidal tomographic layer one tomographic angle wide angle tomography uses more than 10 degree angulation layers as thin as one millimeter can be imaged best used for studying dense tissues narrow angle tomography zonography uses minus 10 degree angulation tissue thickness up to 25 millimeter is sharply imaged best used for studying soft tissues zero radiography two types one medical xrg system mammography cephalography two dental xrg systems dental pathologies advantages pronounced edge enhancement a choice of positive and negative display good details wide exposure latitude no need of x-ray films less radiation required than s-speed films disadvantages high cost only marginally better images than conventional radiography recording media selenium plate retains charge on it is semiconductor mechanism x-ray exposure charge pattern on selenium coated plate lines of force produced as a result of difference in charge densities on plate surface toner distribution on plate nuclear medicine scintigraphy slash radionuclide scans radiopharmaceuticals radioactive elements or compounds f tco4 in plus 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 non-radioactive carrier compounds labeled with a radioactive isotope ga labeled citrate tc labeled polyphosphate i labeled human albumin of all tc is the most frequently used isotope radioactive detectors gamma cameras rectilinear scanner procedure of radionuclide imaging sodium iodide crystal converts photon energy into fluorescent emission slash scintillation photomultiplier tube detects and amplifies the scintillations relays it to the console oscilloscope displays the emission pattern allows precise patient positioning the images are displayed on polaroid film low resolution images white dots on a black background x-ray film high resolution images black dots on a white background salivary gland scanning dynamic study nose faces imaging head 30 to 120 s images are taken yields information regarding vascularity static study 30 to 40 minutes head turned laterally demonstrates anatomy of salivary glands and ability to produce and secret saliva finally one percent citric acid given demonstrates stimulated secretory capability indications and interpretations acute chronic inflammations tumors 
autoimmune diseases, bone scans, 10 to 20 MCI TCO4 labeled phosphate compound given IV, uptake infinity quantity and rate of bone deposition, uses, bone grafts, extent of lesions and infections in jaws, planning of surgical margins, TMJ diseases as a research tool. Tumor scans, TCO4 cannot differentiate between inflammation and hot spots, overcome by the use of gallium citrate scans. Overall advantages of scintigraphy, more sensitive to early changes than conventional radiographs. Overall disadvantages, poor image, not economical, radiation exposure is high, confusion between neoplasia and inflammation. Increased uptake of radioisotope in inflammatory regions in maxilla and mandible. Computerized tomography, CT scan, introduction, by Godfrey Housefield, 1972. Three important factors made CT possible. Scintillation of certain crystals sodium iodide and cesium iodide. Advent of electronics, revolution in computer sciences. Advantages. X-ray beam is limited to tissue section under study. No scattered radiation produced, therefore no image degradation. X-ray detectors used in CT are highly efficient collecting 100% of incident photons. Inherent noise in CT systems is less than 0.5%. Since image is recorded electronically, it can be displayed with wide range of contrast settings without the need to repeat the scan. Combining consecutive CT scans, a 3D image of the object can be accurately reconstructed. Limitations of CT, costly, expensive to maintain, number of patients that can be scanned per standard workday is limited, scan times are relatively long, motion of the structures during scanning will degrade the image. Spatial artifacts are produced to high contrast discontinuities and peculiar curvilinear anatomic areas. CT scan is available only in axial plane. Uses of CT in maxillofacial region to see anatomically precise location of the lesion and extension and extension. It is of unique value in delineating those lesions that have both osseous and soft tissue extension. Involvement of intratemporal parapharyngeal spaces, skull base can be easily determined to distinguish between benign and malignant lesions, to assess the extent of infection in maxillary facial region. Using IV contrast materials, sinus diseases are diagnosed. Improves staging of malignant tumors. To document the results of irradiation and chemotherapy. To locate the fractures precisely. To diagnose TMG pathologies. X-ray tube. Patient scintillation detector. 360 degree rotation of scanner. One projection made every one third of a degree. Equal 1080 projections that make one image, image matrix, inner polarization, 3D CT image, pick in three sections, ultrasonography, USG, audible frequency, 1500 to 20,000 Hz, diagnostic USG, 1 to 20 MHz, scanner generate electrical impulse, transducer, Ultra high frequency sound waves. Transducer. Most important component is a thin piezo electrical crystal, which is made up of a great number of dipoles arranged in a geometric pattern. Most widely used dipole is PZT. It serves as both a transmitter and a receiver. Acoustic impedance of tissues equal density x beam angle of incidence. Real time imaging. Magnetic Resonance Imaging MRI. MRI uses non-ionizing radiation from the radio frequency band of the electromagnetic spectrum. Indications 
assessment of intracranial lesion involving particularly the posterior cranial fossa, the pituitary and the spinal cord. Tumor staging, evaluation of the site, size and extent of all soft tissue tumors including nodal involvement involving all areas in particular, salivary glands, tongue and floor of mouth, pharynx and larynx, sinuses, orbits. Investigation of the temporomandibular joint to show both the bony and the soft tissue components of the joint, including the disc position, MRI may be indicated when diagnosis of internal derangement is in doubt. As a preoperative assessment before disc surgery, implant assessment, advantages, ionizing radiation is not used, no adverse effects, image manipulation available. High resolution images can be constructed in all planes using three dimensional volume techniques. Excellent differentiation between different soft tissues is possible and between normal and abnormal tissues, thereby between benign and malignant disease and between recurrence and postoperative effects, useful in determining intramedullary spread. Disadvantages Bone does not give an MR signal, a signal is only obtainable from bone marrow. Scanning time can be long and is thus demanding on the patient. It is contraindicated in patients with certain types of surgical clips, cardiac pacemakers, cochlear implants, and in the first trimester of pregnancy. Equipment tends to be claustrophobic and noisy. Metallic objects, for example, endotracheal tubes need to be replaced by non-ferromagnetic alternatives. Equipment is expensive. The very powerful magnets can pose problem with sting of equipment. Bone, teeth, air and metallic objects all appear black making differentiation difficult. Digital radiography. It allows for image acquisition, manipulation, storage, retrieval, transmission. Components. Electronic sensor slash detector. CCD slash CMOS, analog to digital converter, digitizer, a computer, monitor slash printer, types of digital radiography, direct digital radiography, RVG, indirect digital radiography, digital subtraction radiography, digitized image interpretation, digital image acquisition and display, image from radiographic film, Detector CCD captured image, analog output signal, digitized in the computer, 256 shades of gray, storage, printout, transmission. Digitization Digitizer measures the voltage of the analog output signal and assigns a number from 0 to 256 according to the intensity of voltage. The 256 voltage levels are displayed on the screen as 256 shades of gray. Direct digital radiography, RVG, radio, X-ray unit and image detector, CCD, Vigio, converts the output signal from CCD to a digital system that is recognizable by the computer. Graphy, data storage unit and a printer. Advantages. Immediate image display, ability to manage image contrast and density. Significant dose reduction as compared to direct exposure films. Disadvantages, decreased image resolution and contrast as compared to film radiology, expensive. Indications, detection of periodontal bone loss, detection of early or incipient carriers, during root canal treatment. Indirect digital radiography, scanner or photomultiplier tube or video camera. Advantages, ability to manipulate digitized image, optimum contrast and density can be obtained, allows for storage and transmission. Disadvantages, may result in loss of information during processing, scanning. Digital subtraction radiography, Applications 
early diagnosis of minute periodontal defect and carious lesions, evaluation of early changes in mandibular condyle position and integrity of articular surface, assessment of osseous remodeling around implants, advantages, very sensitive to detect even minute change of 0.12 mm. Contrast can be further enhanced with color. Disadvantages. Demands for identical alignment of X-ray tube, film, and patient position for two exposures. Stereoscopy. Invented by J. Mackenzie Davidson in 1898. Principle. Uses stereoscope that uses mirrors or prisms to coordinate the accommodation and convergence of the viewer's eyes so that brain can fuse the two images. Indications Evaluation of bony pockets Determination of root configurations of teeth that require endotontic therapy Assessment of the relationship of the mandibular canal to the roots of unerupted mandibular third molars Assessment of bone shape when placement of dental implants is considered Advantages Educational value Understanding of normal anatomy is simplified. Location of small intracanal calcifications and multiple foreign bodies in dense or thick body sections to evaluate the relationships margins of bony fractures. Disadvantages High radiation exposure, long patient positioning, more time consuming. Scanography Principle uses a narrow, collimated, fan-shaped beam of radiation to scan an area of interest, sequentially producing image data related to this area onto moving film, much the same as in panoramic radiography. Advantages Higher contrast with perception of greater detail since collimation of beam reduces the amount of radiation scattered to the film during exposure, for example, Soradex. Scanora. Perform both rotational and linear scanography. Rotational scanography. The beam of radiation rotates about a fixed axis that is predetermined based on the area to be imaged. It produces two or four scanograms. Multiple images are produced. Any two can be used as stereoscopic pairs. Linear scanography. The X-ray film and scanner move in a linear fashion thereby scanning the area of interest. It is similar to strengthened out OPG, capable of both PA and lateral linear scanning PF, the maxillary facial complex. More optimal image contrast is produced. Orthography Principle Technique in which an indirect image of the disc is obtained by injecting a radiopaque contrast agent into one or both joint spaces under fluoroscopic guidance during open and closing movements. Indication to assess disc position, function and morphology and integrity of discal attachments. Disadvantages The procedure is invasive. There may be allergy to non-ionic iodine, contrast agent and infection. Post-operative discomfort. Sialography a radiographic technique wherein radiopaque contrast agent is infused into the ductal system of salivary gland before imaging. Arma mementorium, lacrimal probe, cannula, disposable syringe. Contrast agents, lipid soluble, for example, ethodial, lipid insoluble, for example, sinographin. Indications to evaluate chronic inflammatory diseases of salivary glands. To evaluate any ductal photosis, to detect any tumor in salivary duct, contraindications, any acute infection of salivary gland, any known sensitivity to iodine, immediately anticipated thyroid function tests. If a patient has to undergo both cyolography and scintigraphy, he should first be imaged for scintigraphy, since intravenous injection of dye may inflame the ducts and ductal epithelium is liable to rupture and spill the dye to the salivary gland. Conclusion With the advent of science and technology, recent advances have been done in the field of dental radiology, but 
due to lower socioeconomy, conventional radiography that makes use of radiographic films is used. Hence, there is need to develop imaging systems that combine simple technique and equipment while maintaining quality and infection control at reasonable costs.